All right, we're going to dip back over to the legislature because, you know, there was a touchy subject being discussed on the House floor today. Touchy for some of the men in the room anyway, who you could see and one who even admitted was not very comfortable talking about it. They were debating House Bill 313 about whether to require all public and charter schools to provide free feminine hygiene products to girls, 6th grade to 12th grade. Okay, wouldn't be free. It would be free, I should say, to the girls, but it wouldn't be free to the state because the bill sponsors estimate it would cost Idaho an extra $735,000 in discretionary funding to do this, something like $3.50 for each female student in the public school system. Too much for 35 members of the House, though, who voted against it. It was a split vote, 35-35, meaning it didn't pass. So Idaho will not require schools to provide feminine, feminine hygiene products to girls, but school districts can still decide to do so, like many already have. But the argument against it was highlighted by what Re Republican Representative Heather Scott, who called providing such things to a girl who didn't plan for such a thing, well, she called it a very liberal policy. And by passing it would turn Idaho into a bigger nanny state than ever before. And something like, well, wouldn't even break the top 1,000 issues concerning our voters, she said. What's next, she said. She wondered, when does this end? Will we provide deodorant for students next? Well, for those of you who've been in a room full of middle schoolers going through puberty who haven't gotten into the practice of putting it on at home on a daily basis, yeah, maybe we should. Anyway, Representative Scott stood to debate against the bill, and she lamented how pervasive a policy like this is. But I also I find interesting is this legislative session, 113 bills just like this one are being pushed across the country, all dealing with this topic. To me, this is an agenda, and um, I, I don't know how you couldn't but see that. Agenda bills? How can you not see that? Has anyone told Representative Scott about, I don't know, any ESG bill or any transgender bill or any library bill floating around the state house? And 113 bills? Aren't there only 50 states out there? More than a handful, by the way, already have a policy like this in place, but Representative Scott believes by passing this bill in Idaho, it would make us more of a nanny state, just like those bastions of liberal values like Alabama and Utah, who passed similar bills last year, and West Virginia, who voted this year to give free feminine hygiene products to girls in schools. But Representative Scott wasn't finished. I guess in final point here, what really concerns me is why are our schools obsessed with the private parts of our children? Um, there is a difference between tampons and pads. And to teach our, what is it, sixth graders? Sixth, sixth graders how to use tampons? That's a problem, in my opinion. Keep our schools away from our children's private parts. Vote no against this bill. And, and she did. But the question remains, is it schools who are concerned with our kids' private parts or the people who want said schools to check our kids' private parts just to use a bathroom? Is it schools who are concerned about private parts or those who want to remove sex ed books from, for kids from library shelves? All of these are good questions that we would have for Representative Pot, I mean, I mean Scott.